Ever wonder how one man's curiosity about a falling apple could revolutionize our understanding of the universe? Enter Isaac Newton, born in the small village of Woolsthorpe, England in 1643. Coming into the world prematurely he was so small he could fit into a quart-sized mug. Despite these humble beginnings his intellect shone bright. His mother, recognizing his exceptional mind, nurtured his education. By the tender age of 12 his fascination with mathematics and mechanics had begun to bloom. A young mind fascinated with the world around him, Isaac Newton was destined for greatness. In the hallowed halls of Trinity College Cambridge, a young Newton began to shine. As a subsizer, a position that required him to perform menial tasks for financial support, Newton's curiosity knew no bounds. Despite his modest status, he threw himself into the academic world, spending countless hours immersed in his studies. Here, he encountered the works of distinguished scientists and mathematicians, such as René Descartes, Johannes Kepler, and Galileo Galilei, which profoundly shaped his thinking. His time at Cambridge was an era of profound intellectual exploration. Newton delved deep into various subjects including mathematics, optics, and philosophy. His exceptional mathematical talent became increasingly evident, and he began to cultivate his own revolutionary ideas, setting the stage for future innovations. In this vibrant academic environment, Newton's intellectual prowess was on full display, laying the foundation for his groundbreaking contributions to science. The Cambridge years were indeed a pivotal period in Newton's life, a time when his genius truly began to emerge. Newton's genius was not confined to a single field. His mathematical innovations have shaped the course of science. He made significant strides in the world of mathematics by developing calculus, a branch concerned with rates of change and accumulation. This was a monumental achievement, a testament to Newton's brilliance and tenacity. His approach to calculus was unique. He used infinitesimally small quantities to analyze and describe changes in curves and functions, a method known as infinitesimal calculus. This ingenious methodology laid the groundwork for mathematical analysis and provided a robust tool that would go on to solve complex problems in physics and engineering. But Newton didn't stop there. In 1687 he published his magnum opus, Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, or simply the Principia. This groundbreaking work was a game-changer, a scientific tour de force that rocked the foundations of the scientific community. It was in the Principia that Newton formulated his three laws of motion, the law of inertia, the law of acceleration, and the law of action and reaction. These laws became the bedrock of classical mechanics, the principles upon which our understanding of motion and the natural world are based. Through his revolutionary work, Isaac Newton forever changed our understanding of the natural world, affirming his place in history as the father of modern science.